In the beginning, there was God. He was right there with God from the very start, and through Him, all things were made. Without Him, nothing that exists would be possible. Life resided in Him, and that life illuminated every person. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness cannot grasp it. These words are from the Gospel of St. John. Every work by Connie Mendes is grounded in a single revelation. The words, I am, were given to Moses by God himself. Now, let's understand how to apply divine powers in your life, breaking free from the chains of suffering, poverty, illness, and all sins. Connie Mendes, along with Neville Joseph and many others, affirms that when you declare, I am, it signifies God in action. The Gospel of St. John presents God as equivalent to the words, I am. He is action, and by his very nature as action, creation unfolds. Life resides within it, for its expression can only arise from the act of living itself, which is manifested in everything. So, remember, there is no room for false beliefs that attribute death or its agents, such as tragedies, accidents, and diseases, as punishments from God. Death itself is merely a transition from one world to another, a change from a smaller dwelling to a grander abode, an exchange of worn-out garments for new and splendid attire. On the other hand, diseases, accidents, and tragedies in life are human creations, consequences of misusing the creative power bestowed upon us by God. The practice of positive affirmations aligned with truth through the power of I am holds immense strength, but it is not power itself. They assist us in transitioning from the old self to the new self within the same lifetime, reshaping our experience of ourselves and the world. Ultimately, this leads to peace and satisfaction in both the body and the soul. Wasn't it Jesus himself who taught not to pray using repetitive and meaningless words, as the pagans do, believing that their excessive speech would grant them attention? For the Father knows our needs even before we ask him. Both affirmations and visualizations are not meant for God. They do not serve as requirements for his power. Rather, affirmations, also known as treatments, serve as the verbal counterparts of visualizations. They express what we aspire to be or possess, so that we may transform into the very embodiment of our desires. Now that you've gained a deeper understanding of all this, let's align our mental and verbal tools with the incredible power of creation. Together, we can manifest wonders in our own experiences. When it comes to the Creator, God shows Himself through a very special word, to be. That's why the power of I am is strongly recommended to students of metaphysics. You see, God doesn't ask us to do something. He simply commands creation. It's like what we read in the biblical Genesis, where God says, let there be, or let this be. It's a way of showing us that he became exactly what he created from the beginning. And let me tell you, this didn't limit him in any way, because he is infinite in every possible way. His manifestations continued, one after another, and in his eyes, everything was good. Now let's turn our attention to our own lives. Every single one of us has the ability to create our own world and make anything happen, even things that have never been seen before. We can bring into existence the land and the sky, creatures that dwell in the sea and on land, and creatures that soar through the air. In earlier times, there were simple homes, impressive structures, tall skyscrapers, horse-drawn carriages, and strong animals that carried heavy loads. From vehicles powered by steam to cars, airplanes, and spaceships, and from the telegraph to telephones, mobile devices, computers, and the internet, each extraordinary creation carries something deeply human, bringing us closer together. It's important not to get caught up in how your wishes will come true. Instead, focus on making them real, which resides within you in the state you desire. It may seem challenging to feel like someone different from what you're expected to be. However, in practical reality, there is nothing fixed or absolute. 
Think about how many people you know who feel ugly, unsuccessful, or been sick when they are not. How you see them doesn't change how they feel inside, but over time, their life situations start to match what they believe. Therefore, it is entirely possible to feel better than what you currently see, as well as worse. Begin transforming your reality step by step. If you find it difficult to hold a state of being aligned with the wealth you wish to experience, start by creating moments of inner calm and maintaining a state of peace, even if only for a short time. Feelings of peace are not typical for those living with financial insecurity and fragility. However, peace can emerge once you pay off a pending bill, acquire something you need, or receive unexpected assistance. You felt that sense of relief before, so recall that sensation. Connect with it right now and revisit it as often as you can. It may not bring you millions, though that's not the determining factor. But one thing is certain. The peace it generates within you will attract everything necessary to support you. Once you realize this and experience such manifestations, you will know that you are utilizing your creative power. Your conditions will become more favorable, allowing for even greater creations. This process doesn't solely apply to money. It can be applied to any aspect of your life, love, work, friendships, etc. Lastly, we'd like to share one final piece of evidence. As mentioned earlier, by tapping into the power of God within themselves, human beings have achieved unprecedented things and in doing so, have come closer to one another. When establishing your desires, remember to consider how those accomplishments can benefit the collective good. Everything is God, and even though it may seem like we're all separate, everything wants to be together in a world filled with good things like kindness, joy, love, health, peace, wisdom, and everything that shows the truth of God. That's why we talk about God showing his amazing power. As Connie always reminds her students, don't just believe what I say, test and experience it for yourself. Before this video ends, repeat these affirmations with me. I'm a person who is successful and happy. I am ready to experience happiness right now. I am full of energy and excitement. I have the right to unlimited joy. I am strong energetic, and full of life. Good things are naturally drawn to me. I am peace and calm. I have my own inner strength. I am a channel of pure and positive energy. I am courageous. I am filled with joy. I am hopeful. I am strong and independent. Everyone loves me. I am open and receptive to all the good things life has to offer. I am prosperous. I attract money and wealth. I am a magnet for opportunities. I am happy. I am limitless. I am a leader. 